Hey man, y'all know what the fuck going on. It's your boy Don Quillion, aka Big Quill, checking in with Private Report. That was my girl Lala. La. Day one shit. You know what I'm saying? Hey, we're going up. All 2020, 2021, 2022, 2023, all the years. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Crazy prices. The Progress Report. Hey, what's going on? It's your girl Lala Shepherd, man. This is the Progress Report. Y'all know I fuck with Young Ma and Lil Quill for so many reasons. Um, when I was coming up in this music thing, I looked up to OJ and Gucci so much, but when I met, you know, Young Ma and Quill, that's who, you know, the new runners was, you know what I mean? That's who I looked up to just as far as your music and shit, and that's what y'all remind me of, just, you know, the old Gucci, the old OJ, mm -hmm. and we've been keeping in contact and all that good stuff, and, um, you know, I'm super proud of y'all, you know what I mean? I tell y'all that off camera. Mm -hmm. I love what y'all got going on. I love to see y'all keep going up, because what y'all do, that motivates me, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So I want to talk to you. You know, this is a 2020 interview. 2020, um, all the way did. back since like 2016. You know, we you go did. way back. Nah, real shit, man. It's been a long time coming. So, man, Quill, how you doing tonight? Hey, man, I'm, I'm doing all right, man. I'm free. Hey. I'm feeling blessed. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Right. Hey, you know what I'm saying? What's up with us? That's how I like it. Man. Nah, straight up, straight up. So real quick, man, remind the people, what is one five? You know what I mean? Even the two for like mm -hmm. the, the newcomers, the people that might just be locked in and don't know what's going on. What is one five? One five is an abbreviated term for the street kind of road that we grew up on and basically basically our stomach ground. So the bus route number of kind of road is Route 15. So uh, all we did was just abbreviate and put 1.5 and you know we just, it was just been up from there. We used to go by CRB, Candle Road Boys, um, um, Rock Band, uh, you know what I'm saying? It's just like, but as, as we grow with the shit, it just, you know, it just eventually just turned to 1.5, you know what I'm saying? So that's how For that sure. came about the situation. Nah, respect, respect, man. Um, like I said, when I first met y'all, you know what I mean? Y'all was like, shit, I came up. That was East Atlanta. Like, I pulled yeah. up on y'all asses, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, so, we did a video on the hood. <laughs> hell yeah, hell yeah, man. So to see the growth, that's real dope. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, all the people all the people that know me call me, like, the momager. Yeah, You know momager. what I mean? Like, yeah, because they like, you know, you the mama, all this shit. But, uh -huh. like, I love to see y'all, you know, go up. Like, I'm going to keep saying that because I love what y'all got going on. Um, but let the people know what's going on. Like, man, you just got out of jail and shit. So what happened? Yeah, man, I, I had nothing fucked around. Look, it don't really, I ain't bad or nothing because I got too much going on. Not it just, sure. it just be probation on my ass. So I got locked up for a probation violation and because yep. I got caught with a gun and they wasn't going for it. So they sent yep. me to a little prison work camp. Yep. They like four months and you know got out of my birthday. You okay. Know what I'm saying? So, for sure. But other than that, you know what I mean. I just been really just working. You know what I mean, as far as goddamn. Being signed, 1017, LMO Records, from goddamn working on my own solo projects and even working with my blood brother Ma, you know what I mean? That's sure. Just trying to put this shit together, you know what I'm saying? We got the label coming coming real okay. soon. We trying to get all that together. No. Got real taker coming out. We got Look Cold. Hey. We got goddamn the Beef Well. We got C Double you know what I'm saying? We just got a whole little roster going on, you know what I'm saying? So we just trying to format this shit accordingly, you know what I'm saying? So how we gonna do this shit? You know? Respect, you know I mean? respect. How was it being locked up though during COVID? You know, COVID was just, it's been its been weird for all of us, you know yeah. what I mean? Something new, but how was it, you know, in your circumstance? I, I ain't gonna lie, I was fucked up. I don't mm. wanna um, speak on too much of that because okay. I don't want nobody judging me, but no, it sure. was some fucked up shit going on. I just, I, I was definitely around that shit. This shit was breaking out all in that motherfucker. So it was, I bet. It was, it was crazy, but. You know, nigga, nigga got up out of there and nigga got down. Nigga made the best of the situation, so. Got to. Yeah, but, yeah. Nah, got to. <laughs> got to, man. What was the first thing you did when you got released? See, on my birthday, I knew I kind of had, knew I was finna get out on my birthday, but they was on the bullshit on a little bit, and I thought I was going to end up having to get out the week after because I was thinking I was going to have to take in the court because. I had got my I had got my sentence read up in my paperwork, but once I went to the little work camp I went to, they were trying to tell me the time I did in the county wasn't go go towards what I did and uh, what what I got to do, and they were trying to act like I wasn't gonna be able to get out on this day, that day, and I was gonna have to go to court. My lawyer filed a motion to get released and all that shit, but that was gonna be like a week after or a week after that. But I ended up talking to the right person, the superintendent, and all that shit, so I ended up getting out and. But during the midst of that, I had just got out of the hole for doing the whole month. I had did a whole oh, month shit. in the hole. So 
I was so frustrated mentally in there yeah, yeah. that I was on some shit like if when I get out that I'm not I'm not really too much trying to do too too much because I'm just gonna be happy to be home. You know what I'm saying? That's why that's why I didn't really do nothing. I mean, I just I, my mama was throwing a party for me, a free little queer party, but I had I just so happily got out the day of. So when yeah. I called her that morning, I'm like, Mom, come and get me right now. They really, they they said they finna let me go. Yeah. She came. I popped out at the party, you know what I mean? It was just something like that, but I didn't have no intentions on really doing nothing too extravagant because, mainly because, uh, one, another reason too, because the previous two birthdays that I had yep. was kind of fucked up, yeah. and I was on some shit like, I'm not finna keep trying to force shit and trying to do, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm already partially successful, not as much as I want to, but like, successful in a way, you know what I'm saying? What's up? But, is at the point where like every day damn near is my birthday anyway you know what i'm yeah, saying right. I, can, I can i can do whatever the fuck i want to do you know what i mean right so i'm at the point where i, I t- talk to one of my little homies they like they in la fuck it i'm finna come out to la sunday. i gotta do some sunday but i might go out that monday or some shit like that and shit like that a lot of motherfuckers can't do they plan for shit like that you know what i mean right however they can or whatever the situation but i'm at the point in my life where i can do any of this you know what i mean whenever right so now. i'm not i don't really want to look at all right boom it's my birthday i gotta do this i yeah, gotta do that because yeah, i can yeah. do i can Shit, I, today I can say today my birthday right now. Like goddamn, you know what I mean? <laughs> I'm, I'm having it on. I look like it. You know what I'm saying? So, I, like so I can't really say that that day is specifically my birthday. It just right. I, mean, I look at it as, especially it from a jail. Birth yeah, yeah. Just, I look from a jail perspective. How I was looking at, it, I'm like, man, it's just another day. And then I didn't know I was going home, so I was really trying to get mm. that shit out the way anyway. So I was like, I want to get over this day. Mm. I don't want to be in there fucked up, but. I end up just coming home just on some chill shit. You know what I mean? I ain't really even do shit. I still ain't did shit. Okay. I went to Cheetahs yesterday for the first the time. Word. Food Cheetahs. Straight. Yeah. I was going to say, Cheetahs, I fuck with it because of the food. Food was good. But I'd rather go see the hoes in Magic City. That's all I'm you saying. Magic me? City, Diamond <laughs> ain't Small, like Ratchet it. shit. I ain't don't, nothing like it. I went there last night. It was cool. It was a little it was, vibe. It's cool. I, it was cool. But. But it ain't magic. You know what I'm <laughs> they, you know what I'm saying? Real shit. It was great. I ain't no getting drunk. Nah, for so. sure. <laughs> it was for great. Sure. Nah, for sure. <laughs> hey, and respect. You know what I mean? I think you know the the biggest thing in life. You know what I mean? People got to understand to 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 be able to be alone with yourself. That's a lot. You know what I mean? A, a lot of people can't can't grasp being you know by themselves. So talk about just you. You know, you just said a month. That's a long time. So talk yeah. about you know what would you telling yourself or what was you doing to keep yourself motivated during that time man boy time. i swear to god it, and if it wasn't for me actually like if it wasn't actually for all the hard times and situation that put me in the situation to want to do better i probably wouldn't i probably don't know how i would have reacted because i already knew that i right, boom i don't want to do this when i get out because this gonna happen i don't want to get in this situation because i know that's gonna happen right. so i'm really it's really like a learning experience Mainly, wanted, mainly definitely on some goddamn give me right type of shit. As right. far as like not want to go back to jail, not want to do this for my career, not want to go, not want to move like this, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm like, I'm at the point, I'm like, damn, man. So it basically it was just on some like rehabilitating type shit. Because okay. cause it was, it was really getting me right mentally. Even though I was right. locked down, like I was locked down the most I could be physically. Yeah. But it was, it was like, it was like, it was physically. like, yeah, it was, it was, it was, it was getting me right mentally because I right. had to. I, and, and I already had like 50 or 60 songs I had done did. So I'm in there again, my track list together for my album, thinking about what pictures I done did. I can got them music for the cover. I'm getting covers there, getting them sent in and shit, got them trying to figure it out. You know what I mean? Yeah. But it was just like, I, I, I had to make myself busy because it, right. and when you in there, you don't really got shit. You know what I mean? Right. You can't, I, I, I couldn't really do too much that I wanted to do. So all I could do is think. Yeah. And mainly, really, what it, what the, what the process was. and. And and that that like, it was mainly me just a uh, uh, a sit down of me just overthinking, mm. and with overthinking it can be bad and it can be good. True. So it was, I I try to make it I try to make it a positive situation it's about this shit. You know what I mean I okay. really I ain't really want to look at it as bad. So I just overthought and overthought and overthought, and then I eventually came up with that my album cover my album name. So yeah. I'm dropping the album on Thanksgiving called hey. it, it could be worse. Okay. That's how that's how they got in, in, in situation because. I think about it like I really got damn. I can't really complain about this or that and that and this because I know you know what I mean. It could be worse. You know what I'm saying? Then I thought about it. I'm like, damn, I've been looking for that damn. I've been looking for a damn title yeah. you know, the whole time, and it took for God that actually just sit me down or put me through some bullshit. It's just actually like, all right, bet this we're gonna be the name of that shit. And the reason I'm dropping it on Thanksgiving, okay, because Thanksgiving's supposed to be like a time where you giving thanks 
for something. Right. And he's, I want to drop it because I know this. This is my profession. I want to give. I want to. I want to dedicate this project to God. You know what I mean? Mm. I want to give thanks to God for 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 mercy. You know what I mean? Because nice. I know it could be worse. Sure. That's how they. You know what I'm saying? So that's 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 mainly why how that situation came. Because I know a lot of people they waiting for me to drop. They like, whoa, yeah. Thanksgiving so long, yeah, Thanksgiving yeah. so long. But not really. You know what I mean? But not really. Yeah, it, about like 35, 36 days, or so, some it's shit like be that. Here we yeah, know. it'll be here. It'll give me enough time to promo, get my mar- marketing right. strategies together, and shit like that. Before they know it, they're gonna be bumping to it every day. You know what I'm saying? So straight up. Yeah, straight so, up. Yeah, I'm doing that one for God. Now respect, man, and that's you know, and, and life is so crazy. I feel like, you know, all of us, no matter what our backgrounds is, you know, so many circumstances where life could have been different. Yeah. And we all had the nights where shit could have went totally left. You hey, know what man, I'm saying? I'm like, you. it's like, that's that's just life. So it's like, ain't nobody better than nobody. We all had situations where shit could have been totally different. You yeah. know what I mean? Um, and one thing that I noticed in your interviews um, before, you know, going in this last stint, you know what I mean? You were saying that you were sober. No more yeah. smoking and all that good shit. Nah, so I'm sober. See, I know okay. a lot of folks might be looking at my cup, but this yeah, just yeah, some, yeah. This is some Island Punch right now. Okay. So stay out my business. Island Punch. Stay out my business. Yeah. You know I don't do no drugs I, for, for the most part because I can't. Yeah. And two, because I kind of like myself now. Like, I'm more conscious hey. about my, my career. Absolutely. And kind of really more conscious of my surroundings. Like, Absolutely. when I be high, I be like too... I be too goddamn fucking... Gone. I be yeah, fucking. Yeah, I be yeah. so high. You gotta think about. It. I can get money now, so I'm What's smoking up? all type of big ass blunts. And smoking real. I, I'm smoking good as hell. So <laughs> yeah, I'm like, yeah. I fuck around, fall asleep in the studio and right. that type. Of, and I didn't like that. And now that I'm actually like off that stage, while I don't got to do none of that shit, I'm like, mm. I, I can kick back and I can goddamn lock in the studio all night. Right. And I can goddamn. I got a video then. I, mm. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like it kind of put me in more of a. A, a, a working mode, you know what mm. I mean, rather than goddamn a, 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 a vibe mode or a okay. chill mode or a, a getting high mode, you know what I mean. Okay. So I, I kind of look at that as, as as a bonus to 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 the to my music now, you know what I mean? Because nah, I'm able to not this shit out. I'm able to not this shit out. Like when I was smoking and when I was on drugs, it's yeah. like I couldn't. I was really like I was, I was a dependent, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like I was like I kind of like needed more. Yeah. In a in a way like damn bro, help me catch a vibe, do the hook, do the verse, let me get on it. Uh, you know what I mean? Not necessarily saying that's the way, but that's how I, that's how I was. That's how I, how how that's what I was used to. You know what yeah. I mean? And then my all really the reason I even started rapping, just seeing him rapping with with his with, the, with his rap group back then, yeah. uh, rock bands. You know what I'm saying? And it was like. You know what I mean? Like, damn, you know what I'm saying? Fuck it, I want to rap too, you know what I mean? Then uh, over the time, I just started getting too comfortable yeah. being in a group and being, you know what I mean? Even though it's still my little queer, uh, it, just, it, it, it just kind of like, we just doing our own little thing at the time, you know what I'm saying? Try to just like, you know what I mean? Just build this shit up all type of different ways. Ain't nothing, ain't nothing wrong with getting three different type of bags. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, hey. so that's how we doing. Okay, like I said, I love it. You know what I mean? Just being behind the scenes and just, you know, being hella observant. I really do love it. I love to see, you know, we hear more of Quill, you know what I mean? That's what it's been about. Like, you know, we all knew that you had something to say, but now it's like, all right, we hear them. You know Mm -hmm. what I mean? No question. Like, and even on the first night out joint, like you did a video first night out, you know what I'm saying? So talk about that joint. Oh, uh, first night, that shit was goddamn... And, and and they go back to show you when me just being grateful that I was like, I didn't even want to, even want to do shit like 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 this sooner if stabbing video. I just shot it. Yeah. Shot at the store, went to the studio, shot at the, at the, at the um, studio. It was just more of just me just getting these folks like, hey man, I'm back. Hey, you know what I'm saying? Let them know. Not it didn't do like it didn't do future or goddamn fucking goddamn Jay Z, Bone Thugs okay. and Harmony numbers, but no, I did I meant like one thirty five thousand, hundred thirty five thousand in a week. It only been out a week. So, you know what I mean? So, it's kind of like, I'm just like, I'm at the point where I'm just like, hey, man, I'm back. You know what I'm saying? So, you yeah. know, you got to worry about this shit. I've been shooting, I shot like, probably like two or three videos since I've been out as far as like, I shot a video last night. I shot a video oh. like two days before that. Okay. And I shot a video with mom. Okay. So, no. like three videos. So, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to be dropping, I'm going to be dropping some videos before yeah, I yeah. actually just. Before I have them just waiting and just be yeah, like yeah. anticipating the project so much. So it's gonna be a couple of videos dropping like I'll probably drop like a song or two of the of the project okay. before I actually just like just make them just just what I'm saying, just be waiting on the shit, you know. I'm gonna I'm give them something. I ain't gonna just do them like that, you know what I no, mean? For sure. Even if I give them a trill on Instagram, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, right. They got they gotta get something, you know what I mean? Hell yeah. Yeah, hell so yeah. yeah. Hell yeah. 
Hell yeah, That's man. Nice. What, what your DMs look like, man? Especially being down for a little minute, man. I man, feel your I, DMs crazy. I couldn't even look at all of them. It, it, like, last year when I got out, I had went down and I started looking at all of them. Yeah. This time, I know I did long time. I'm like, right. man, fuck that shit. <laughs> it's, I I, man, that shit was so long, bro. I was yeah, scrolling yeah. down. I seen motherfuckers. There so was, many. It was like when I got out, it was motherfuckers hit me up that day. Cause yeah, I had to think course. about it. Like it was my birthday and I of seen course. my all post me. I'm like, yeah, motherfuckers starting to eat it up. They got motherfuckers yeah, like, yeah. motherfuckers whining that we went without that damn, damn right. would post me and they was posting, damn you know right. what I mean? So it's like, it was some shit like that, but well, it was respect. way too many. Yeah, they, still, they still in there right now too. Okay, <laughs> respect, man. Um, another thing too, man, you know, you cut your hair and I think it looked grown and sexy. Yeah. I'm fucking with it. Uh-huh. But talk about the decision to cut your hair. I know that was probably like a, I don't know if it was difficult or not, but. Um, it was, it was, I'm not even gonna lie, the first week, it was fucking horrible. It was horrible. I ain't gonna lie. I cut, okay. like, it, it hurted me, like, it hurted mm. me, like, it hurt me, bro. Like, cause, like, you know, your hair's supposed to be your strength. Yeah. So I felt weak as hell. I'm not even gonna lie to you, but over the time, I started getting, I started getting over it. You know what I mean? Now I be looking at my pictures. Now I'm like, damn, I had dreads. You know what yeah. I mean? I, I just like, I'm like, god damn. But yeah, a lot of people telling me the same thing. Like, yeah, man, I like the look. I like the look on you. I like the look on you. So I'm, yeah, I'm yeah. in the front because I still got my shit. Absolutely. Only reason I cut it is because I had to go to a little prison work camp. Mm. So they make you cut it. In gotcha. GDC. You know what I mean? But. It, I, I was on the point, and I was like, man, I'm going to put this shit back in, but I'm getting so many different compliments. You know what I mean? It's like, still to this day, and I done been out today, mate. What today is? Friday, ain't it? Today, Friday. Yeah, today. I've been out two weeks this, today. Damn. I got out, like, on the ninth. I've been out two weeks, and motherfuckers still like, God damn, I ain't know you cut your hair. Damn, yeah. I like the shit. You know what I mean? Motherfuckers still like, you know what I mean? Like, so I, like, damn, like, I, why the hell would I... One of my homies, guess what he told me? He's from New York. He said, that? man, that shoe, man, that shoe right there. Mm. He said, them dreads had you looking dusty. I said, Ooh. God damn. I said, damn, God. Damn. I, I said, then then I was looking on somebody else's shit, and I seen them with some dreads, and they shit it was start getting along. I'm like, damn, he do look a little dusty, though. Damn. But I can't really say that, though. I'm not saying, like, they, no, they do. But, I like, you. I don't know, though. Like, I guess it's just it's just a different look. So, yeah. motherfucker, like, trying to, like, motherfucker taking heed to the shit. I'm digging it. I'm digging yeah. it. it, it. It's a grown and sexy type yeah. look. You know what I'm saying? I'm fucking with it from a female Appreciate perspective. It, I like it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Right. Um, the first night that you got out, though, like, you know what I mean? What was going through your mind? Like, it was surreal. Yeah. Because it wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't, I, I didn't think, through, the, through, the, through all the bullshit that was putting me through. Yeah. I didn't know I was getting out to the day I got out. That's loud. wow. <laughs> I didn't know that I was getting out to the day I got out. That's some real shit. And and so it was like I went inspecting it, you know what I mean? Cause I they kind I kinda they told me when I when I emailed the, the right person on yeah. that Wednesday before I got out there Friday. It was like, oh we fixed it, you're gonna be right, you're gonna you you're gonna go home Friday. So I got happy as hell. I had them, yeah. them bought out by everybody in the goddamn um, fucking dorm something to eat, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Then they came back that same day, like, nah, goddamn, you ain't going nowhere. We sorry for the confusion. So that whole Thursday I'm pissed off. I'm like, that yeah. that yeah. Wednesday that Thursday, I'm pissed off. I'm like, damn man, they end up getting over it. Okay. Then that Friday, I I get a call, I get a um call in the dorm, they like they like the lieutenant wants you in the office. I go to the lieutenant office, he's like, um, he trying to, uh, I don't know, he, he, he pissed me off because he ain't really pissed me off. He like, um, uh, where you stay at? I'm like, I'm thinking, really in my head, I'm thinking some bullshit done popped up from Atlanta system or DeKalb mm-hmm. County. So what yeah. you say? I say, I'm like, Atlanta? He like, ah, this bullshit is that. Um, you think, um, you think you can get it right? I'm like, man, am I, I, you know, I just, you know, I say, man, am I going home? Am, am I right. going to get out? He that's like, good. yeah, he like, all right, so four, four, let's. I'm gonna call my ride. Simply that. Sure. Man, you talking about, ain't no ask me, can I get no ride? Yeah, nigga, I'm not. That day. Let me call my folk. Right. You talking about I can get a ride. What are you talking about? Nigga? Tripping. So, but I didn't know I was getting out to the day of. So it's like a That's lot crazy. of the shit that when I came home, it wasn't really coordinated because I was on some mm-hmm. shit. Like I wasn't expecting. Like I really was supposed to like I really was supposed to be getting out in December. December eleven. Okay. Wow. So I ended up shit. I ended up goddamn fuck. They end up fucking with me on extra two months, like you know what I mean. But it's because the way my probation officer, even though they didn't want to, they didn't want to give me my time served. They end up fucking up, and they I'm not saying they fucked up. Shout out to my lawyer. My lawyer ended up getting the shit right and making them put the shit in my paperwork. So technically, they really couldn't keep me 
You know what I'm saying? They even though they were saying they 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 I wasn't gonna get it and I had to stay and such and such. But I guess they already knew that through the judge, the judge was gonna grant it because it was already written up in the paperwork. Cause like he was, I already know what the judge was gonna say. Um, so how, if you don't get his time served, why is it in the paperwork? It was, gonna, it was gonna be it from there. But you know what I mean? But so I ended up wagging. I ended up getting my shit together. You know what I mean? So that's, it was a blessing. Now I'm ready to goddamn stay out this shit for real. That's why I ain't really too much. I ain't really too fun to just. Trying to move around how I was. I'm trying to get this shit together. New Damn me, right. new year. You know what I'm saying? So Damn that's right. how I'm on some new shit. Hell yeah! What was the first thing you and Mama talked about, man? When you got man, out, man, I called him. Like usually, I, I just pop up on him. I called him. Man. He ain't never seen me with my haircut. Yeah, like, man, you ugly as hell. So <laughs> oh, we yeah. just doing, we just talking shit. Talking for shit. The better part of twenty minutes. And then I um, he told me yeah uh, um, let's pull up out there in the, um in the hood. Goddamn, such a such. Go to the spot. Went over there with nobody there. Went over yeah, there again. Yeah. Nobody was there. You know what I'm saying? But it was just, you know what I mean? And and I was on some shit. Like, I wasn't trying to tell nobody I was out. Right. I feel you. I wanted to get this shit together because I told you I, I didn't know. You. I didn't really know. You know right, what I mean? Like, right. I didn't know I was getting out. So I'm like, damn, I want to I wanna coordinate this shit. I want to make this shit that this shit calculated now. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, I want to yeah. make sure, like, when I get out. It makes you sense. Know what I'm you know what I'm saying? Because I really was waiting on my cover to get done for my uh, yeah, shit. Yeah. And I wanted to get the song cleared. Okay. Through all, all the platforms. So. Once I popped out and I posted it, I could have gravitated yeah. all the attention from me getting out to yeah, yeah. My, my first night song, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that would have made the song go up more, you know what I mean? And I'm not right. saying like, you know, even though it's still doing it's still it's still it's still doing what it's doing, but and he got them he he spilled the beans right, right. before I, I was gonna walk in the club and I knew when nobody gonna know who I was because I had my hair cut, nah, but he, he spilled it too, goddamn. So yeah, it, yeah. It, it was it was just crazy, you know what I mean? But I, you know, I can't be mad at my brother. Nah, big facts, man. Big facts, man. You know when I when I see I seen the I seen the tweet that he had made. I'm like, oh shit, Quill out. Yeah. Like I said, I DM I DM you like a couple of months ago, like yo, let's get an interview in. But I didn't realize you was locked up. Yeah. So when he had made that tweet, I'm like, yo, like it's time. It's time for all that shit. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like you know, and 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 like again, you know, from the outside looking in. That's why I fuck with y'all. Like I love y'all fine. Yeah. Like that that shit real. You nah, know what I mean? I feel like you know we can people that come from those type of situations we can all relate to it in different ways. You know what I mean? So so speaking of music, like right now, like what's your favorite mixtape that y'all done did together? Like what tape is your favorite right now? Why? As far as more of a authentic and classic type of uh, point of view, I would say the first one B L B one. Okay. But as far as like one that critiqued my style a little bit more was Bless Love Bastards 3. Okay. okay. Because I was kind of more in control now. of the kind of the voice in it. You know what I mean? Like all the songs that actually like did the most streaming was really my songs from okay. even the song we got with Hood Rich Pablo One. Yeah. yeah. Don't Shake Obama, that was my song. Fortnite was my song. Ooh, Fortnite my, was crazy. Yeah. Fortnite did what it did and I didn't Fortnite even think we were going to do that. Fortnite, I swear to God, I did not think it was gonna do that. Fortnite really? was a Fortnite was a feature, bro. That motherfucker went so. Oh stupid. God, it did. It's a, it's a it's a vibe like I can't yeah. even describe. It's just a vibe. And it was on. It wasn't, it wasn't even on no contemplated shit. It was just on some shit like one of my little homies was playing Fortnite, and mm. I was in the studio. I was just rapping because when I be doing them features, I don't really care what I say. And like I said, I said okay. what I say, say something right now. I'm a rap about it. Yeah. And he and, and he said uh, he said Fortnite because you were playing. It. I said I'm in the street. This ain't Fortnite. Uh, yeah. I had the bitch on the first night. I said come on, pull it up, pull it up, pull up, pull the beat up. Yeah. I went right in there and did it. You know what I'm saying? But the nigga didn't have his money. Hell yeah. So I sent him on by his way, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. And, and then it was just like like the studio we be in, we have people coming in, yep. majority females, but yeah. I mean, don't kid me. But no, I got you. <laughs> goddamn, and they was like, and I never got that much feedback from from people as far as like a song. Like I did, but it's like a song that wasn't released. Like that was on my ass. It was like, yo, drop, y'all need to drop that Fortnite. Y'all need to drop that Fortnite. That shit was getting, it wasn't getting leaked. It was just getting sent to everybody. Gotcha. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, Man, we gotta drop this shit. Let Ma get on, on that motherfucker. That shit went crazy. I ain't gonna lie to you. That shit crazy. Yeah. And yeah. you know, another thing too, I feel like the beautiful thing when it comes to groups, like, you know, you look at the Migos, or if you look at you and Eva Ma, you know what I mean? Y'all can monopolize, like, y'all can do y'all group shit and y'all can go solo, uh -huh. and, and, that, and, and that enhances the brand. So, yeah. you know, talk about your solo projects, man. That big. 
you know, that big quillion, that's my shit. The yeah. Don Quillion, I'm yeah. sorry. Yeah, you good. You know, even, even, you know, the the other joint, the big quill, that's yeah, my shit big. too. Like, you know the, what I mean? Don Quillion, Don Quillion was very special to me because yeah, yeah. that was my first project I ever did by myself and yeah. that I formated by myself. Absolutely. And, like, I was totally in control, like, 100,000%. Yep. Like, me, you know what I mean? And I, and I fucking loved it, bro, because... I was already at the point where the label was kind of like, it, like okay. if they wanted to put it out, uh, when they wanted to put it out, make, yeah. not if they wanted to put it out, when they wanted to put it out. And I'm on some shit like, I'm, I, I don't got no time to wait. I had just got out two then, I had to do like two months before Reggie Valley. So I'm like, fuck that, I gotta give these folks a project, you know what I'm saying, me and Miles ain't dropped Best of Best of Three until like, I got early that year. So I'm like, I need to get to them. Like, I, I gotta go ahead and get to them, you know what I'm saying? I, I'm in the studio every night. Like the label got down, was playing with the budget. Right. Fuck that. I'm getting studio time, doing the videos, got them promoting this shit, all type of shit myself. You know what I'm saying? Then I just actually said, thought about it. I said, man, I'm gonna put this project out. Yeah, I dropped yeah. Don Quillion January 5th as as a um, as a um, a tribute to one five for okay. January the first month for and sure. five the. You know what I mean? The fifth day, the one, five. one five. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So I dropped it in, and that shit, that shit did something. I was in that shit, and that shit did good for me. It ain't do bad. I mean, yeah, I, yeah. It, didn't, it didn't, it didn't do what, it didn't do what, what, what I, what it probably could have, could have did. But all I know is I, I was in jail when I just got out. Before I got out, right. I woke up one day, and it was like I talked to my little sister. Your lawyer just sent me some money for um for your um uh, for Dunk Leon. He said you made three thousand this this month. I'm screaming. You know okay. that's not that's not hey. a lot, but that's just something. You know you got to think about something that you love to do. Yeah. We don't yeah, discredit yeah. that. You know, we yeah. don't minimize none of that shit. Man, yeah, yeah, something man. that you love to do that you would do for the free. You man, know that, mean? that shit got on God, and that's how I look at the feature shit. But I had to get right because my was really on my ass. He's like, man. You gotta goddamn make these folk get gun them too. Really goddamn gun them too. Like man, you, you oh. gotta make these folk pay for this shit, goddamn. Cause you got them rubbing shoulders with goddamn goo up and goddamn say say say. You know what I mean? You gotta make these folk pay for this shit. And so now I'm at the point where I'm like, you know what I mean? Like, right, fuck, come on, I need twenty five hundred at Straight least. Up. I can't do nothing under twenty five hundred. But I was just, I was just at the point where I was like, but even though I was still doing it for twenty five hundred, but I was just like, I right, bet you got eight hundred right now. Come on with it, fuck, I ain't finna turn that. I'm from the street. Hey, 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 I'm from man. The street. Hustlers go, hustlers know what's up. I'm from the streets, man. <laughs> I, I'm going, to, I go in the studio right now, and I'm going to record me a song for free. Absolutely. So if a nigga got eight hundred dollars just to get me to That's do a eight, <laughs> for a nigga for me to do eight bars, straight got, up. Come on with it. Come I'm on with fuck. that shit. Hey, come on with it, man. Let's get it. That's how I eat. That's how I pay my bills. I be had to tell up. people that too. Straight up. So, okay, with that being said, man, salute to Gunna, you know what I mean? You know, I feel like at the end of the day, as creative people, you know, even myself sometimes, you know, it'd be sometimes you go through shit, and it'd be other people that would speak life into you, you know what I mean? Yeah. But also, too, on the other side of that, you know, sometimes people count you out. Do you feel like people counted you out? Not necessarily. I mean, in a way, but not necessarily. I, I feel like, uh, for the most part, I counted myself out okay. by, by not... Not not performing it, it 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 my full. Okay. You know what I'm saying, like Potential ability. Like you know what I'm saying, yeah. Cause cause I was like I told you, I was high and I was fucking geeked up all the half of the time. So I couldn't really, I couldn't really do the shit that a lot of motherfuckers not was doing, but yeah. that I knew that I could do. You know what I mean? I got you. And like now I'm kind of like I'm getting I'm on I'm, I'm trying to. You and your bag, Queer, you look good, man, and you sound great. Yeah, I appreciate up. it, man. I'm trying to get to I'm trying to start I'm trying to trying to switch it up with the versatility shit, man. Yeah, I'm, yeah. Trying, I'm saying I I, I said in jail, my, I got three V's when I get out. Vibrant, vicious and versatile. You know what mm. I mean? Vibrant, learning how to go with the, how to go with the flow, versatile, okay. doing shit I'm not I'm not used to do. Sure. And and vicious as far as Fucking put my foot down and taking the shit. You know what I mean? Yeah, like yeah. fuck that. You gotta let me in the door, man. You know what I'm saying? Right. So I'm I'm at that stage right now, and I and, and I ain't really too much trying to look back. You know what I mean? Straight up. I'm, I'm with shit. the growing shit right now. Damn right, damn right. Okay, so so one question that I know people want to know. Me and Quill had this con- or not Quill. Me and Ma had this conversation a couple of months ago. So what happened with the Gucci situation? Um, everything's still cordial with Gucci. You know what I mean? I mean. Nigga still in contract, but nigga, okay. nigga not in contract. Gotcha. Just that's just the long and the short. You know what I mean? What's that? So you know what I mean? Big uh, big shots out to go out. You know what I'm saying? Appreciate him for the opportunity. For sure. You know what I mean? I mean like ain't really too much that I can't really say that 
I can't really thank him for. You know what I mean? Yeah, people got opinions. I might have an opinion that I feel like he could have did such and such. But hey, man, I, God, God, God got his own plans. However he want to do it, however, however and whatever he want to do. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not tripping. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm not doing bad. Uh, you know what I'm saying? I know shit gonna get right eventually. Just how it was, you know what I mean? Like I already, I already tell myself every day, I can't, I can't go down. You know what I mean? I, I don't been at the lowest, so it's only damn up right. from here. Damn right. I don't give a fuck if goddamn, if I don't goddamn make it to goddamn billboards, or whatever the fuck. I, I, I used to be on goddamn, I used to be at the lowest of the damn lowest. Right. You know what I'm saying? So, so for me, for me to even be able to goddamn. Be able to have chains and watches and goddamn a pocket full of money, looking and I'm like, gonna go. Like, you see what I'm saying? Yeah, like, this yeah. is a blessing, bro. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Because, yeah. like I said, it go back to the album title. It could be worse. Absolutely. I got a dead brother. I got another brother who just got out of prison. They went back to prison. I know it could be worse. Absolutely. So, I don't look at none of the bullshit obstacles like, 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 I don't look at it as negative. I look at it, I turn all this shit into positive because I, I learned from the shit, you know what I mean? And, right. I, and I, and I, and I benefit from the shit and I don't let this shit get to me. I make sure that I keep going with this shit, you know what I mean? Straight up. Number up from here, man. Nah, straight up, man. And that's a, that's a dope, that's a dope perspective. My personal opinion, I feel like, you know, Gucci should have dumped the bag and y'all yeah. 100%, I feel like y'all the hardest niggas, period. <laughs> I still say that shit. Every time I run into a motherfucker, I'm playing my all and quill. All day, every day, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, that's neither here nor there. You know what I mean? So, talk about your dopest experience being signed to 1017 and being with Gucci. What was your dopest experience? Dopest experience is, um... Kind of probably like, um... Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One time, me and Ma, we was performing. We, um, go up told us to come perform for him mm. at, um, Music Midtown. Yeah. And Pee, my part. Okay. I, don't, I forgot how many thousands of people was out there. It was so Too many thousands. on God. That shit was <laughs> packed hey. here on God. He brought out Yachty. I probably was there. Yeah, he brought out Yachty, goddamn Hell Pablo, yeah. and um, yeah. whoever else goddamn came out there. But it was, it was, it was more of a a memorable moment because on the way there, me and Ma was running a little late. Okay. You know, black people. You know, they're gonna be late to their own funeral. Like Goddamn. Yeah, yeah. We was uh we was running a little late and we was having trouble finding somewhere to park so we yeah. hurry up and get in the mix. Yeah. Before shit started getting crucial and motherfuckers stop answering the phone because they yeah. on stage or whatever yeah, the situation yeah. was. So we parked right across the street from um I think it's Grady High School or whatever shit, the little football field right here, okay. this little plaza. Okay. And it was a man, the the man who do, do the little boot and shit. We had parked the car. He got out the car. He walked up on it. He was like, hey, you parked right here. I'm going to boot you, man. We both looked at each other. We thought about this shit. Looked at the signs. Man, boot that motherfucker. We'll pay that bitch when we get, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ran across the street. Heard before and came yeah, back. We yeah. were turned up. We were lit. It was, you know what I mean? We were like, man, how much you want for that shit? You got to think about it. We having money now. So what the you 70, want for that little what shit? What the hell? What is $70? You know Come on with it. I like <laughs> He and that. He was, it, 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 it kind of like. It kind of made him happy too, cause yeah, I see him yeah. smile. He's like, man, can they give me sixty dollars? Right. He didn't even want seventy five, right, right, You know what I mean? Right. So he just Respect. like, so. But that was that was more of a kind of like kind of like cool moment because Absolutely. you know I actually got to perform in front of a a a, 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 a fucking huge crowd that Absolutely. I don't usually get to do. Even though I've been on tours and all this shit, but like in in in, in my city, you know what I mean? It was yeah, kind of like one of the different. first times. You know what I'm saying? So it felt good. You know what I mean? Hell yeah. Being around superstars, being around motherfuckers, goddamn. Yeah. Who got good intentions for you, you know what I mean? And just, you know what I mean, having fun, bro. So, yeah, yeah. like I told you, like, a lot of motherfuckers like, yeah, man, I got a boot, man, fuck. You know what I'm saying? Turning niggas into positive, you know what I'm saying? Absolutely. So, it, I just looked at it, like, you know what I mean? Like, goddamn, like, damn, I'll never forget no shit like that. But, goddamn, Absolutely. I call all right now, he's gonna, goddamn, we're gonna laugh about that shit, goddamn. Damn right. But, yeah, it was one of the moments. Nah, respect, man. What's one thing you learned about yourself? You know what I mean? It's been a journey, and it's gonna always be a journey. That's life, you know, but what's... One thing you learned about yourself just going through all the shit that you've been through thus far. I learned that. Yeah, I gotta. I gotta take. I gotta take ownership to everything that I do. Mm. You know what I'm saying because yeah. like, it's been a lot of times where I kind of like try to put the fault on some people as far as like my ex manager mm. and. Sometimes the label and sometimes, you know what I'm saying, even my family members and my friends around, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I, I, I came to the conclusion that I'm like, this is my life, you know what I mean? Yeah. So I got to make sure that whatever is involved with me, that I got some type of 
control of the situation as far as right. not trying to let, as far as like like I told you the label is the, the label is uh contemplating on when they're gonna drop it or what if they're gonna drop it fuck that I'm gonna drop it straight up goddamn my mama goddamn if she gonna do this do that fuck that my mama do it goddamn goddamn right. my manager goddamn if you gonna goddamn prioritize me fuck that I'm prioritize myself and I get my own features I book my own show you know what I'm saying so it just I'm at the point where I'm like everything I gotta everything I'm doing I gotta take ownership into it I gotta make sure I'm the one that's in control of it uh, to further notice, you know what I mean? Until I get to the point, until I get to the point where I where I can trust somebody to goddamn handle their business, or I, I can trust somebody to do something that I don't feel like doing. You know what I mean? I feel yeah, you 100%. You know what I mean? This music shit, it's a lot. You know what yeah, I mean? People, it definitely is. People don't, I don't, I don't think people understand, unless you're really in it and you, and you see, it's one thing to be an artist, but you gotta have a reliable ass team. Yes. You know what I'm saying? It's 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 a whole yes. lot. So that's what I'm saying. That's why I respect y'all because for y'all to keep doing your thing, I, I love to see it. Yeah. You know what I mean? What's 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 one piece of advice that you would give? You know, the older or the younger little quill. If you could talk to the younger little quill now from your current 2020 perspective, who would you tell the younger little quill? I hope I'm saying it right, but sobriety. As mm. far as like yeah. the drugs, you know what I mean. Even I wasn't really on hardcore drugs and then like that, but uh-huh. it was just like, like I kind of feel like there was a blockade in my career and and and, and what what kind of like led me to not being where I wanted to be when I wanted to be because I'm not right. saying that I'm not where I want to be, but Absolutely like when not. I wanted to be, like it's not like, like you say it's with the time and with this shit. Hell yeah, I don't ever know. I can pop tomorrow with, with the first night can goddamn go Never viral know. tomorrow. You know what I'm saying? Know. But. It just, I felt like certain times, certain shit I was doing when I was first got in the mix with the music shit heavily with the labels and shit, I was taking it for granted because I was so spoiled on the money and so spoiled on the studio time, so spoiled on the video, so spoiled on the flights, so spoiled on the promo and all this shit. Then once this shit started slowing down, I just went like, damn, man. That shit was really goddamn a blessing and goddamn motherfucker goddamn took this shit for granted. Mm-hmm. But now that I'm doing it myself now, now I now I appreciate it so much hey, and I yeah. and I and I value it so much. And it's like I can never get back to that point where I kinda was taking everything for granted. You know what I mean? I, at this point I'm taking everything serious now. You know what right. I mean? Especially with me just getting out and I know what could have just happened. And I'm taking life serious, man. I can't Hell I can't yeah. I can't fall no more, really. You know what I'm saying? I can't fall. It's only up from here, man. It's only up from here. You know what I mean? You know, the show is called The Progress Support, man. I like to ask people, you know, you can either define what the word progress means to you or you can either define how you stand progressive as fuck. Either either way, man. Um, When when I hear you say that, I when I hear about, when I think about progress support, I just think about family. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? Because y'all been with a nigga since day one. You know what I mean? Up. Always. And since, 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 you know what I mean? Y'all been with niggas at the lowest as a nigga been progressing. So uh-huh. so when I hear that, I'm like, damn, this family just had a lot. That's why when you hit me up, I'm like, man, whenever, whenever, whatever, 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 whatever you want to do, you let me know what you want to do. You know what I'm saying? Because, hey, man, this shit, I remember this shit was just got there. I put up on y'all niggas in a long time. Oh, God. I'm telling you. That's hard. And she, you just have, you know what I'm saying? You you watching the progression. Absolutely. And you reporting it. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. So. I look at like family though, real shit though. I love y'all and real shit though. Respect, man. Well, what's coming up next, man? Um, the album, I'm mean, a album mixtape project, whatever the hell you want to call it. For sure. I got that dropping Thanksgiving, okay. and then I ain't want to tell nobody, but me and Ma, we back on the boy shit. We finna drop a collab oh. tape again. Maybe BLB four, oh. maybe maybe stuck together forever, or okay. however, we, whatever we gonna do. You know what I'm saying? But it's on the way though. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Y'all stay tuned. Okay. For sure.